Um, oh nine, O N A N. Or uh, yes, y'all. Yeah, my phone did it again, y'all. I got to, I got to get a new phone or a new camera soon. So just bear with me. But yeah, um, so God wanted him to impregnate his dead brother's wife, and even though he still fucked the dead brother's wife, when he was when it was time for him to bust a nut, he pulled out and he busted a nut on the ground, and God punished him for that. That's, this is in the fucking Bible, y'all. This is in the fucking Bible. Um, Judges fourteen, Judges. Book 14, verse 1 through 19. God helped a motherfucker named Samson kill 30 people so he can steal their clothes and give it to somebody else who didn't even fucking need them. God helped a nigga kill 30 people so he can steal their clothes. All through, the, Listen, y'all, I can just sum up the whole Bible right now, y'all. Um, once upon a time, there was an invisible man named God. And um, just out of being bored, he started making shit. So, um, you know, no backstory, no... No, no evidence of where he came from. It's just, he just started off. He said, let there be light. He said it in English, of course. I mean, what other language would God speak? So he said, let there be light in a deep voice. And then uh, he just started making people. Then he started coming up with rules, making up sin. And then he ended up killing a bunch of people. Um, you know, he told, he told fucking the first people not to eat a fruit. They ate the fruit, even though he knew they were going to do it. Then he punished them. Then he ended up impregnating a fucking 12 year old. And then he made that 12 year old have a fucking son. And then he named the son Jesus, which is based off the son, based off of fucking Osirapis. Which was Jesus is actually a good character. I like Jesus, <laughs> even though he's not real, like how shit, you know, I like Superman. He's a good guy. But his father, boy, his his father's fucked up. Jesus is actually a good guy. It's that guy. It's that man, boy. That dad of his is fucked up. So anyway, God ended up sacrificing the son that he had when he raped the 12-year-old girl. And then he ended up killing that son and said, pretty much anybody who doesn't, who doesn't agree with what I did will go to hell and burn forever. And all the ones who do get to go to heaven. And you get to, like, wear all white and play the harp and fly around and shit like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm just going off pictures and images that I see. Nobody's ever actually seen heaven. I mean, you know, that the, the the odds of heaven actually fucking existing is like one in a billion. But anyway, look, y'all, just to sum this up, y'all, before my phone shuts out, uh, before my phone shuts off again. Um, again, y'all, I'm not trying to shake nobody's faith. I'm not trying to be blasphemous, as they say. I just want people to think, think. Don't accept what your pastor said. Don't ex don't don't just accept what your mother and father tells you. Think think. And if someone tells you something about your faith or your soul or what happens when you die, find out if it's true or not. Don't live your life basing off the fear, man. You know, the odds of this shit being true. That's like if I say, if I open up my fucking glove department, a fucking bird is going to fly out. And I know, oh shit. I'm just kidding. Y'all bird did not fly out. So this is what I'm saying. It's, it's man, somebody made these things up in their mind and then wrote them down. So in order for you to accept it as truth, you're taking it. It's like a one out of quadrillion fucking chance and it's it's just not true y'all this shit does not exist in this type of reality so stop saying god is good god is fucking evil god like man look out the devil only killed maybe like nine people throughout the bible and in all nine people god told him to do it god is the one that ordained satan to to, to do that so i mean come on y'all it's just it's y'all the proofs in the pudding read your fucking bible um, yeah, y'all, God, God is not even a, God is a fictional character created by fucking Romans and Greeks based off that they stole from fucking ancient Egyptians, which the Egyptians were out of their fucking minds. Don't think because they were black and African. And, no, fuck that, y'all. The Egyptians are the one that started all this bullshit. And then the Romans and Greeks, they came and took this shit so way even further. And our black asses is up here fucking believing in this shit. So y'all do your research, um, you know, and understand what it is that you believe and what you've been programmed. Because the same God that you worship are the same type of, um, was made by the same type of people who rule the world now. You see how fucking sinister they are. So where do we come from? Nobody knows. How do we get here? Why are we here? Nobody really knows. But I do have a few theories, which I will talk about tomorrow. Peace. Have a good day, y'all.